Here we have a 67 plate VW Golf R DSG Estate. Now this vehicle comes with the 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all in excellent condition and unmarked. We also have the black brake calipers just behind. We have the white silver exterior paintwork, the LED headlights, the Golf R badging on the front grille. Around to the passenger side, you find we have the second alloy wheel just down here, once more unmarked. And then taking a step back, you find we have the black door mirrors, black trim around the windows with the privacy glass for the rear passengers. We also have colour coded door handles and the black roof rails up top, along with the shark fin antennae and the rear spoiler. There's a look at the third alloy wheel. And then coming around to the rear, you find we have front and rear parking sensors with a visual display inside. We also have the quad tip exhaust at the back with the rear diffuser. And then if we take a look at the boot, so if we just open it up like so, you find we have plenty of space back here as this vehicle is an estate. We have the partial shelf, of course, just there. We also have hooks on either side if you need to hook anything in the boot. We have a handle just underneath here to pull the boot back closed. And then if you walk back around to the driver's side, you find this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. There's a look now at the final alloy wheel. Then having a look at the interior. Inside of here you find we have the cloth interior, foldable armrest in the centre with the fixed ISO points. We have the R logo on the floor mats, the vents down there for the rear passengers, brush metal door handles and the electric windows, nice leather trim with the grey stitching on the doors. Taking a look at the front again, we've got the same cloth interior, the Golf R logo on the front seats. And both of the front seats are heated. There's a look at them front seats. We have the electric heated mirrors, electric windows with child lock for the rear. We have the automatic lights, the flat bottomed multifunctional steering wheel. Now if we take a seat inside, you find we have the paddle shifters either side. We also have the digital dashboard just there in front of us. The adaptive cruise control on the left hand side along with the speed limiter. Now if we put our foot on the brake, turn the key so the vehicle will turn on. The once the vehicle is on, you find on the digital dashboard that will be free from any warning lights. We can change the view of the dashboard by using this side of the steering wheel. So as you can see, we currently have the range. We can also get plenty of other bits of information just like so. We also have other options. So we have the assist systems just there. We have the navigation. We have the views where you can change the view. So for example, if you go onto the driver assistance, you can see it changes the dials like so. We also have the main infotainment screen just here in the centre, currently showing the radio. You find we have the DAB FM and AM stations. We have the sat nav navigation, we have a range of media as well, such as the auxiliary, the Bluetooth audio, the USB, and all them other options just there. We have the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto, the Bluetooth phone connectivity as well. If you go onto the car, you find we have the lap timer just here, along with the performance monitor, which are pretty cool features to have. If we go to the main menu, you can see we have even further options just here, which we can scroll through like so. Putting the car into reverse, you find that we have the front and rear parking sensors, which will appear on the screen. Put it back into park and moving further down though, you find we have the dual zone climb, which are, we have the ice cold air conditioning, heated seats on either side, working just as they should do, as you can see. Further down, we found we have the automatic gearbox. We also have the different drive modes, so press this button. You can see we have the race drive mode, individual, eco, and the normal drive mode just there. We also have the auto start stop button, the traction control button, and the parking sensors. Inside of here, you found we have the storage space, and we also have a USB port on the auxiliary. It'll be closed like so. Put it back into park. We have the cup holders just inside of here, electric handbrake, the auto hold button, and a 12 volt connectivity. Nice leather armrest which can be opened up for more storage. But that's all that I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more then please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT, HBI clear, competitive finance deals and free nationwide next day delivery. Thank you for watching.